Hi, good morning, it's Julie Kay. Thanks for watching. If you're new, which I'm sure most of you are, my name is Julie Kay Marley, and I have been a hairdresser for 40 years, and I am a salon in Oklahoma City. I work with my two sons and my husband, Highlight Salon, and I have been doing hair so long, I get bored. So I'm always changing my hair, doing a little color, adding a little red, adding a little blue, adding a little purple. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, I'm going to be doing a human hair wig topper review here in a few weeks. I just got it sponsored by a company called I'm Wigs, and we're going to be doing a human hair gray wig topper review. But today, I want to show you what I got on Timu. So I got these synthetic hair extensions, and they came in 10 colors. They had four or five colors of blue, um, a mauve, a fuchsia. They called this light blue. I would call this lilac. <laughs> and this was a dusty rose. So I got five of the colors, and they also had gray and some other blues. And these were 10 for $5. So that makes them about 50 cents a piece. So let me show you how these work. These are also 22 inches, so they're pretty long. So this is called a tape-in mini hair extension. And the reason it's called a mini is because it has five, six little individual hair extensions within that one hair extension. Okay, so what you're gonna do is cut it in half and we're gonna put the hair right in between this little spot and then we're gonna fold it over and fold it over and fuse it. And it's gonna be a hair extension and it's gonna last about a month. So normally with synthetic hair, you can't curl it. But yesterday, like always, I took them to the salon to test and I showed the stylist how to put them in on this mannequin head. And we did one of the girls, we put the lilac and the dusty rose in her hair and we decided to curl them to see if they would curl. And we used a small curling iron and guess what? It took a little bit longer to hold it, but we gave her a spiral curl on synthetic. Okay, so what we're gonna do is put in this mini synthetic tape-in hair extension on our wig. So normally you're gonna put them in around the front and they're gonna have a part. So you wanna put them about an inch under the part and you don't wanna put them too close to the hairline either. And I like to use a towel comb with a metal tip on it and you're just gonna draw a line where you wanna put your hair extension. And I was really amazed on Timu. I found these in um, human hair also. And they were about $20 for a 16 inch for 10 pieces. So what you're gonna do is take a piece of the hair that is the same size as your hair extension. So I just take this little tail comb and cut out a little square, the same width as the middle hair extension. And then this has a little piece of tape on it, covering, and you're gonna pull that off. And you wanna hold this kind of down with the natural fall of the hair and put this up under it as close as you can get it. I'd say about a fourth of an inch away from the, the scalp, right in the middle there. And then you're gonna close that over and over and press. And what I would do is come back and hit this with the flat iron. So you can add these for a pop of color or you can get the human hair ones and add them a little bit of thickness in the front for people that have thinning or broke off hair in the front. So I'll be doing uh, some more stuff on this. I'm gonna be working with imwigs.com and doing some human hair gray topper reviews in the next couple of weeks. And uh, but these were on Timu, so I'll put that up so you guys can see them. They are sold out right now because these are so cool, and we 
can wash them and curling iron them and they're going to last about a month. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my channel. I appreciate everybody. God bless you and have a good day. Bye.